The holidays are a time for giving, and who better to be on the receiving end than a military family? CBS's Janet Chamberlain reports. It's been years of hard knocks for Geisha Alvarez, so she never expects good news. You were nominated by multiple friends and family, and we're here to decorate your house. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Yards of garland, hundreds of lights, thousands of dollars in decorations. Go team! The transformation is underway. Are you ever a little worried when you knock on somebody's door sort of unannounced? Especially so when you don't know if they know that you're coming. The Christmas decor company sells the trimmings, but every year they do 200 homes for free, often as a surprise for first responders and military families. We have three girls, five boys. How do you do it? I don't know. <laughs> Beyond eight children, Geisha is her husband's caregiver. Angel has brain injuries after surviving an IED blast in Iraq. <laughs> Hours later, Geisha and Angel were the first to see it. I would cry here. I'm so sorry. Oh. But as the kids came home from school and the sun set, who wants to lead the countdown? The full glory of the gift Three, revealed. Two, one. <laughs> So awesome. I'm not used to receiving anything, especially people donated their time to come here and do this for us, so it's pretty amazing. A jolt of joy for a special family. The holidays illuminated. Janet Shamley in CBS News, Cullowee, North Carolina.